بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the month of Ramadan the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam um, not only just uh, prayed more fasted and did tabligh but he also used to recite Quran in a uh, in tartil in a very beautiful voice and many times he did i'takaf so i'm alaihi wasallam basically seclusion so you basically break off from people so the whole concept is to uh, to cut yourself off from dunya masumin alaihi wasallam the infallibles uh, they do not indulge into the world but even they uh, many times became upset or overheard by the uh, practices of the people towards them and hence they needed some uh, time between them and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and especially they were going to be getting new message or uh, a scheme of action from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the grand night so generally tanazzal al malaikatu war ruhu fi habid na rabbih min kulli amr malaika the angels and ruh the soul the spirit reveal they come down from the heavens to earth in this grand night so basically they are preparing their preparation is to receive that message so it's basically the grand night is for them to prepare for a special plan of action from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they used to spend more time uh, between them and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they could uh, receive that revelation from allah uh, in the grand night in laylatul qadr which was basically every affair you know kull amr you know every amr every affair every command from allah about rizq about what will happen uh, how things will unfold and what their responsibilities and duties for the whole year are so as an imam or the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or the imams they had a the whole preparation for that so i'm alaihi wasallam also seen as preparing you know for uh the the, the poor people feeding them and, uh, and during the nights it is seen that they actually go to the orphans and uh, the widows and take them food and the poor people are continuously being fed so uh, i'll best spend more time reading the holy quran and Uh, the nightly prayers and also with those ibadat they would prepare for the grand night a uh, lot of recitation in the holy uh, of the holy quran in this month uh, we have traditions where the imams uh, you know for example imam sadiq al islam used to finish up to 40 qurans in one month so he would read the holy quran 40 times in this month that is more than one quran a day so one night they would finish and then the next day they are probably reading another Uh, so you know that is uh, or probably the layali al qadr so 30 every night and then fridays and thursdays probably reading more qurans um which are weekends in the islamic calendar so they spent a lot of time reciting the holy quran in this month and uh, uh preparing their children they would also wake up their children for the uh, main nights and their families giving time to them and also preparing them for this world and for the ibadat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Thank you for listening.